everyone. I hope you're having a good day. Let's get started with our lesson. Let's get warmed up. So we're going to stay seated today. Uh, rotate your arms forward and backwards. Stretch out your arms, but try not to lose your balance. Keep your weight down side to side. Feel like you have a solid base. Rotate your upper body in a circle. Try to go as far as you can go without tipping over. Back the other way. Lean forward, and stretched out forward. Now make a big arc with your arm and look behind you. Go the other way. And keep your bottom on your feet. Let's look at it from the side. And the other way. legs wide open. Again, your upper body side to side. Lean forward. Your hands forward. See how far you can go. And maybe once you warm up, you can go a little further. Keep breathing. Now left hand to your right foot. See if you can reach your toes. Now to the other side. Lean to one side, stretch the side of your body. And to the other side. Now put your feet together. Press down on your knees, down into the ground, or as far as they go. Put your feet in front. Now we're going to roll back and come up. Roll back and come up. As you're rolling back, switch your feet so you're alternating sides. Let's look at it from the side. So you curl your back. Make sure your head stays off the mat. Tuck your chin, tighten your belly. Let your weight shift back and forward, back and forward. Do it a few more times. And we are done. Okay, so now let's put your hands and feet on the mat and you're going to hop one leg at a time as if your knee's going to touch your chest and alternate sides as you hop up and down. Keep your hands on the mat. Keep going. Few more. Good job. 
All right, start in the same position, but now you're gonna hop your legs back at the same time and up at the same time. And see if you can get your legs farther away from your hands until you get into a plank position. Back, forward, back, forward, a few more. All right, and this leads into your favorite burpees. Back, legs up, and jump high. Back, legs up, and jump high. Get down, up, and jump. One more. Hooray! Okay, we're gonna review our teeter-totter exercise. Let's take a step forward. Lean over and touch the mat in front of you. Step forward, lean forward and touch the mat in front of you. Let your back leg rise. Left foot forward, step with the right foot. Lean forward and touch the mat. Feel like your weight goes over your center. Step, teeter-totter and up. Step, teeter-totter and up. Okay, so we're gonna add something. So as you do this exercise, I want you to look back towards where you came from. So look towards your back hand. Imagine there's somebody standing there and you're looking back at them so as not to lose sight of them. Look back. Look back. Very good. Let's see how this looks when you actually have a partner who's throwing you. He throws you forward, you take a step forward, and you let yourself teeter-totter. Feel like your center is tipping over and you're actually losing your balance. Because that's what your partner will be trying to do to you. But as you get thrown forward, make sure your center stays on your partner and that you keep your gaze on your partner. And eventually, if your partner throws you away really hard, you can roll away. But even then, your attention should be on your partner. Here's another technique. It could be applied in many different techniques. Let's practice some animal walks. We'll do the three-legged dog. Let's go a couple of steps forward. Some steps back. Now go to your right. go to your left all right let's switch feet same thing go forward go backwards go to your left and go to your right all directions Okay, let's make it harder by just using one arm and both legs. So it's still three-legged dog. But using one arm and you're going backwards. Try the other side. Just scoot your legs back and your arm follows. All right, now let's add this exercise to what we did previously where you step forward and teeter-totter and you go backwards and three-legged dog step tip and backwards as you go backwards make sure you're looking back towards where you are going forward and backwards scoot scoot step forward tip over scoot back scoot back
step forward, step over, scoot back, and even though you're moving back, be able to do a forward roll. So we've been leading up to how to take ukemi for uchi kaiten nage. I step forward and I get pulled back, so I do my little scoot backwards. I get cut forward and I scoot backwards. I'm keeping my eyes on my partner and my center on my partner also. And I'm also trying to keep my balance as much as I can, even though I'm in a compromised position. So as you do this, make sure you're always looking at your partner so you don't get kneed in the face. That would hurt. And stay connected and move with your partner in case you need to take a roll out. And have that hand ready in case you need to protect your face. Now let's see the full throw with a roll. Your partner pulls you back and as the partner pushes you forward, you move along with him. Attention always on your partner. So we worked on the ukemi side, so let's work on the throw side. On your own, you get off the line at an angle, you step through, you cut all the way down to the ground, and now you step back as you draw your hand back. Step off the line, step through, Cut all the way down and draw your hand and leg back at the same time. Do a couple more times. Make your movements big. Make every move count. Let's look at it from a different angle now. You slide off the line, you step through, you cut your partner forward, and as you draw back, notice that I step off the line at an angle. So it's not just a linear movement, but I'm using angles to stay safe and to make the technique effective. Step back off the line. Do it one more time. All right, so let's finish your throw with your imaginary partner. You grab, you slide off the line, step through, cut forward, step back off the line, and now step through and throw them away. Slide off the line, step through under their arm, Cut all the way down and draw back. Keep your back straight, wait forward, and step through. So you're moving forward and back, but make sure that your awareness is always forward. And as you step through, make sure you're grounded. See it with the partner now. Slide off the line, create good space, cut forward, draw back at an angle, and now your hand goes on your partner's neck to keep his head down, and your back hand 
grabs his wrist. Off to the side, cut forward, draw back. The front hand now goes to the neck and the back hand grabs the wrist. So at the end, your partner was grabbing you at first, but you end up grabbing him. Let's finish the throw. Slide off the line, step in, cut forward, draw back, and step through, and push him away. And as you step through, make sure you're moving through his center, not walking into him. All the way forward, draw back, and step four. Make your movement smooth as you keep practicing. And if somebody tries to take your pillow, don't just resist, go with the flow and you could effectively get your pillow back. Let's bow out now. Arigatou gozaimashita. If somebody tries to take your hand sanitizer, don't resist. You might want to share. There's enough for everybody.